You know, it wouldn't be overhauling if I didn't put a whole bunch of parts on and then immediately take them right back off again. Welcome back to the Skill Builders Guild. Thanks again for watching. It is overhauling season one, episode three. We are overhauling the Element RC Enduro Sendero. We're adding parts, we're taking parts away, we're changing things, we're taking an existing platform and we're making it better. Um, because that's what I like to do with my trucks. There's no sense in going out and buying something new when you can find an existing kit and add a whole bunch of aftermarket or other parts to it. And the Element RC Enduro has been on the market for long enough that there are lots of new parts coming out for it. And if you've been following social media this week, you will have seen that Element RC released an IFS conversion kit for the Element Sendero. The Element RC IFS kit comes in this handy dandy little box. Some great uh, instructional uh, information on the back there explaining all about what IFS is and how it's going to work for you. And it includes everything you'll need to convert your existing Enduro Sendero or Trailwalker to IFS. The instructions are well laid out easy to follow, and the entire conversion shouldn't take you longer than a couple of hours on a Saturday afternoon. Uh, taking a quick look inside the box, the guys at Element have included some really cool stuff. You'll note that there uh, are some very cool add-ons on the inside of this box for your scale garage, and if you have an Element Enduro or a Trailwalker, you know that there is a garage already included on the inside of those boxes. Element included a stand-up arcade machine, uh, and some really cool uh, street signs as well. You might notice the Scale Builders Guild has their own uh, street sign as well, but that's really super cool. Um, I know it's just a box, but Element's been doing a really good job of making it not just a box. Element also includes a comical sticker sheet as well. You'll notice they're taking my lead and making some funny bumper stickers again, um, but mine are funnier. <laughs> anyway, on to the installation. Uh, this was a pretty easy conversion, I have to say. Element includes every single part you'll need. There are a lot of parts that you will be reusing from your existing kit, uh, but this conversion went by without any trouble whatsoever. It is a locked front differential in a crawler. A locked front diff is something you're going to want. There are a few steps that you do have to follow quite carefully. For example, on gate 5, I do like how they label these as gates and not steps, they only show the upper arm mount on one side in the installation, but it is required on both sides, so make sure that you put it on both sides when you do that step. Because Element is a strong supporter of the aftermarket, they did make sure that their new front steering knuckles weren't going to affect any aftermarket knuckles that might exist. I was able to install my SSD RC uh, weighted knuckles without any trouble whatsoever. I did have to enlarge some of the holes a little bit to make room for the uh, new ball mounts, but otherwise it was a really easy step to add my own aftermarket parts. You do get a metal servo horn with this uh, conversion kit, which is a nice added touch. Uh, the steering doesn't seem to have been affected. You still get a ton of steering throw on this truck, which is fantastic. All of the linkages are five millimeter steel and using the gray plastic rod ends, so they should hold up to a fair bit of abuse. The other thing that you tend to lose is articulation. Uh, but the way that this has been built, I seem to see not much difference in how much articulation you get. Uh, you are moving the shocks further down on the towers. They do include a metal tab to do that. Otherwise, there's not much change in the suspension feel either. Because of the way the system is designed, you do get an overall lowered suspension height or ride height on the entire truck. Uh, you do lower the rear shocks as well, so it all is nice and even and level front to back but it does, in my opinion, make the truck look a lot better now that it's sitting a little bit lower. Because nothing in the transmission changes on this IFS conversion, you still get front overdrive if you've got that installed on your truck already. It's really nice to see that that doesn't get affected and you're still gonna have that same level of performance that you would have had before. Because there's no more linkages up front, uh, everything gets cleaned up on the underside as well. I haven't been able to test it yet, but definitely by taking a look at it, you can tell that there's a lot less stuff to get hung up on. The skid plate in the rear of the IFS conversion also does a great job of covering up the entire drive shaft. So you're not gonna get that hung up or 
bound up on anything either. It's a really nice little addition and uh, I think just completes the whole look of the IFS system. The front skid plate is a really nice piece as well. It is plastic. I'd love to see an aluminum upgrade. Hopefully they'll be making one of those in the future. Uh, but otherwise, I'm really, really pleased with this as an upgrade. I think on a Toyota-based truck, it looks absolutely right at home, and I'm really happy that I've got this kit. So if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so you get updates anytime there's a new video from the Scale Builders Guild. I think it adds another level of realism. I'm really interested to see how the truck performs now that it's got a IFS system and not a solid front axle. While this is designed to work with the Enduro, I have been told that there will be 3D printed parts available to make this conversion work with other platforms. So you heard it here first or second. <laughs> There's a strong likelihood that this will work on other trucks and I'm looking forward to seeing what they come up with at Element for the next thing on their lists. As always, I'll be sure to put links down below where you can pick up all the things that I used today. I haven't yet totally decided on paint colors, but I do have some paint masks ready to go. Tacoma Belgrande. <laughs> uh, my friend Timp RC printed those out for me and um, he's also on the box right there. So hopefully uh, we'll see that new paint scheme sooner rather than later. There's a lot more to come on overhauling the Enduro Sendero. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again soon.